All right, guys, we are here at the Lexus booth at the Japan Mobility Show. Another amazing, wonderful concept car. Kirk, tell me more about yeah, it. Yeah, this is the LFZC. This is a compact electric car coming out in 2026. So this is kind of a forebear. We're not gonna see everything on this vehicle make it to production, but a lot of new things from Lexus are being debuted here on this concept. And the exterior design, we're gonna start with our walk around and we'll head on the interior because it's unlike anything we've ever seen in the Lexus lineup before. And a uh, very important thing to keep in mind is the range for this new lithium battery, a lithium ion battery. Yeah. Kirk, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Well, they say potentially a thousand kilometers, but that, you know, that translates to over 600 miles. Yes, yeah. That's not on the EPA cycle, maybe around 500 miles. That's still Even a lot. then, yeah. what car, there's maybe one car on the market, the Lucid Air or something that's getting 500 yeah. miles of range. This and, is a smaller and vehicle. And but, I think they said 10 to 80% in 10 minutes, right? Yeah, very, 11, very, very fast, fast charging. Yeah. Yeah, and the, the batteries are much more compact and condensed. We got to get moving. Okay, we only have 10 uh, minutes with yeah, the car. Exactly. Let's so go the front end here is Lexus. You can tell not only, of course, the illuminated logo that that's typically here on a Lexus model. They moved it up and it's embedded. Um, looks awesome. We also have the L motif daytime running lights that has been a Lexus staple for, I feel like, over a decade at this point. Yeah. So we have the actual headlights down here, though, right? Yeah. Headlights are built down into here. this triangular piece down here at the corner. Yeah, so this is not the headlight, even nope. though traditionally this would have been the headlight design. And uh, it's almost like, like an origami eye. You know, I mean, like yes. la layers of layers of panel mm -hmm. coming together and uh, kind of like a transformer look. I think it's super cool. It's, it's striking, Stri absolutely. Like just yeah. crazy design. And it still features that, that spindle body that we see on the RZ, for example. This is just that next step. And right. speaking of RZ, this is a smaller vehicle. Yes. It's like, a, it's like a compact flagship in a way, so. Now, now you guys remember that uh, we did purchase a RZ or RZ uh, about six, six or seven months ago. We're driving it quite a bit. We actually like it a lot more than we thought. It's a beautiful car. Uh, it drives a lot like uh, any other Lexus models, but it's a fully electric one. So it's a good you know, foreshadowing of what, what could come down the road. Mm -hmm. And if they can make it better and smaller and more fun to drive and more dramatic, better. The, mo yeah. the more, the better. Now these wheels, they look massive because there's so, such a little wheel gap here. Uh, these are 21s. Uh, we see 21s on, on the crown models and the lineup. So I wouldn't be surprised when this yeah. comes to the production, we'll see 21 inch wheels here. I, we, like, I like this little Lexus uh, logo rather. Mm -hmm. I don't, it's not a door, is it a door? So it's, it's hard for, for the camera supposed, to see, but yeah. there's an, a Lexus imprinted into this clear uh, portion here that you can see from the top. Yeah. That's a nice detail there. And Kirk, digital side what do you mirrors. think of that? Yeah. That won't make it to production, at least for the North American market. <laughs> it's sharp enough to cut through mm -hmm. meat, maybe here. Such make a sashimi. Mm -hmm. it, it does. It's a little, kit little, little knife. Look, now this almost looks like a uh, an illuminated piece, mm -hmm. but it's not. I don't believe it carries any sort of lights on the inside. But like look that how Lexus long panel. this A pillar is, right? Yeah. Like it, 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 the A pillar just mm -hmm. becomes the body. It's it's right? very Prius like, and yeah. how yeah. it's very supercar like, and how aggressive that rake is. And you get more angular origami design here, angular coming back, mm -hmm. right? And more here. Yeah. And this is, oh, this is interesting. This is like- It's almost uh, like a vinyl Yeah, feeling. like a vinyl finish, like a black uh, matte finish mm -hmm. here to contrast here and here. And more origami design here. Yeah. Even the end of this light is like, it's got a pointed, Point, pointed it's sharp, to it. And it, it. Down here too. Yeah, so that now, must be the new design. This rear door is enormous. Uh, look at that. And, and look at and the that's size of that. With the longer wheelbase, a battery electric vehicle is going to allow for bigger doors, bigger interior space than we've ever seen on a compact car before. Yeah, I mean, just look at the overhang behind the rear wheels. Look at here. Yeah. That would be impossible on a normal gasoline car to put this so close mm -hmm. to the rear. And the wheelbase, like, like Kirk said, look how long it is. That's it's crazy. Huge, yeah. All right, so we Let's come around to the back. Can, yeah, a little Large bit on the back. Glass, I know the cameras can't see it but there's a fully glass roof and this rear windshield is really long like a, a long hexa i don't know a trapezoid trapezoid yeah, yeah. it's like a long four-sided shape but the actual seam is here kirk yeah and then the seam is here so this will open like a lift gate as opposed to the other one we were talking about earlier which had a trunk uh which was on the prelude that we were talking about yeah yesterday. yeah yeah so this will be a lift back i like to illuminate ouch it's sharp. <laughs> it's actually really it's sharp. sharp, right? Such a sharp angular yep. emblem. Obviously, that's I think not it looks amazing. It, it looks really, yeah. really good here. It looks really cool. Yep, yep. I like the clean finish. Yep. L and you kind of have that ZC or ZC. Yep, and that bow tie sort of sucks in in the back. 
like it does starting with the front and the grill. Uh, so LF stands for uh, Lexus Future. Future. And right. Z is zero emission. Zero I think emission. C, C is stands for catalyst in this. Oh, well, yeah, I, read what, the, I think that's what yeah, they said. So this is, yeah, uh, but the, probably dual meaning. The it's first also, domino. Yeah, dual right. meaning, exactly. Also compact size or C size, yep. I think. All Shall right, we get on the inside? Yeah, let's go inside. Dave, do you want to get in first? Okay, sure. Oh, can you go all the way? How about you get in? Yeah. And maybe I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, stay, okay. I'll talk about the door. Yeah. And then you can talk about the interior here. Okay. All right, so the door has LEDs built in, not only in the top and the bottom, I can actually see that making it to production. Wow, and This material here is a nice, like, tight wow. woven fabric. Look at the light going back yeah. and forth. Now, Lexus has like said that they're using a lot of bamboo materials for sustainability, uh, and just add that natural con uh, content in the car as well. Tons of carbon fiber in this vehicle, not only are the seats, but the bottom of the floor as yeah. well. So go ahead, and, Jay, and, go ahead and get and there Kirk, and start filming Lexus but This here. is what we call the raw carbon fiber. Mm -hmm. So it's got the carbon fiber folded in as opposed to the typical carbon fiber design. And they are using more and more of this in the exotic supercars because it has a very different character and it's also really strong mm. because all of the little folds of the carbon fiber are layered on top of each other. Mm -hmm. um, but you know the interesting thing is that obviously this is a concept car so I don't have much of a headroom here. But it's very airy. Like it's so open. It's, it's all open here. Yeah. I, no, Flat not, floor. I yeah, this I can't touch this, but this is a little phone type control that we similar to what we saw in Century SUV, and the seats are really thin. I think to mm -hmm. maximize space, it's very airy. Um, yeah, I mean, but let's show the front there maybe. Yeah, we're running out of time, so okay, I'm going to go ahead and get to the left front. And go into the front. It does sit really low. I'll say that it's much lower than something like a, a RZ or something. Um, headroom in here is also not, you know, because it's so aerodynamic focused, for taller people it might be a, a tight fit. So on the left here, there's a little screen. Yeah, this is going to focus, it's not going to allow me to play with it a whole lot. I believe this is um, for, oh gosh, I read the pre press relief. I know this is over here for like music and climate control. I think this is more for your safety, your headlights, things like that over here. Uh, we have steer by wire, so we have this unconventional steering yoke almost and like we also yoke, have paddle shifters if oh, you yeah, see here so right? lexus wants to make evs more yeah. enjoyable so we so might it, have some interesting so gear it is shifts a yoke but with the top part actually coming in right usually yokes yoke stops at here so that's mm -hmm. kind of interesting so it says tap to start advanced parking so your advanced park features and safety features are going to be over here on the left side just don't drive the car off the stage okay yeah i'm not going to do it no <laughs> this zero to 60 and this would be super fast now we have screens way up front Kind of like the new uh, Toyota Prius, we don't need a head-up display because the screen is so close to the glass um, that we just have a large, it looks like a 12-inch screen up there that's gonna give us all of our information like battery charge. Uh, it'll, ah, charging, <laughs> charging power, it says it's charging at 150 kilowatts. Oh, wow. The RZ doesn't tell us how fast it's charging. Yeah, you know, so Lex is gonna make a huge leap here. I don't know, this might be a speaker, I'm not sure what the, yeah, I think this is a speaker, so And look at the door here. Did you point out the Illumin light? Yeah, no, I haven't yet. Yeah. So on the back, this illuminates, but now we have that additional key lighting that allows you to see at night. This is going to go away or fade into a much dimmer light uh, when the door is closed and when you're driving. Um, all the window controls here are touch capacitive right in the middle. Uh, and we also have these, these screens over here for the passenger to play with. This is not for the driver to reach over, I don't think, because your, your controls are all right here which is really, really nice. So, man. All right, well, that's cool, right? <laughs> it's very, the, very cool. The main cool. thing is how likely is this going to actually happen? <laughs> I mean, some form of electric car using this technology, which is advanced lithium battery, along with some uh, elements mm -hmm. of this design theme should show up in the near future. In fact, what well, they said 2026, so that's 2026. only a few years away. Yeah. And so if the new production version of the car is going to look anything remotely close to this, it's going to be a, a huge hit. Like it's going to be a great looking vehicle yeah. with a great design. It's a five door hatch as opposed to sedan. Mm. So I don't know exactly where you're fitting within the Lexus lineup, but I would yeah. hope that it comes to North America. What do you think? Kirk? I absolutely will, right. because uh, by 2030, they will be fully electric in the North American market. And they got to start moving fast because they only have yeah. one electric car so far. Yeah, that's so. true. So it's a cool car. Would I buy one? Uh, well, we have a Lexus RZ or RZ, so maybe I'll keep it for a few more years and then certainly trading for this one because the range is so good. If it, they get anything oh, close gosh. to 1,000 kilometer from 10 minutes of yeah. charging, 
Uh, wow, you the know performance I, is going to be on another level too. Yeah, exactly. It's gonna, everything, everything's going to be better. It's going to yeah. make everything else basically obsolete with this new battery technology. And this is foreshadowing another new battery technology, solid state, which will come out in 2027 or 2028. 600 that will give miles us more, range. thousand Seven, miles. They yeah, say, right? 600, 700. Yeah, it depends yeah. on the cycle, so, but it's going to be impressive. And it yeah. all starts with this car in 2026. It can't come soon enough, can't but at least we get enough. a great sneak peek. Absolutely. Well, what do you guys think? You guys. Uh, let us know if you like the uh, the car or what we're talking about and keep an eye on both of our channels we'll continue to cover more from the japan mobility show we're the only a north american journalist left i feel today. like a, yeah day two everyone yeah. else left hit that like button for our dedication giving you guys the latest from the japan mobility show we'll catch you in the next one Peace. all right peace out